all of you sisters are models and like they are doing well in their field so like what what is the relationship between you and your sisters a uh, very easy going just like any normal family where you have like sisters i mean and we fight about stupid things we fight about <laughs> you know i mean you took my cd and i took your earrings and you broke my belt and we fight about all stupid things mm -hmm. but we very rarely discuss shop we don't really talk to each other about what we do because i think it's very tiring you know i mean um you know we all have long days and we all have long hours so when we get together we actually pref prefer to go out and eat mm -hmm. or we watch television together or we go and watch movies together or we hang out with friends but we don't discuss shop okay. that's dukan dukan is ghar ke bahar okay <laughs> You don't mix your professional. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. You know, because it's just too much. It's like then you're talking about the same thing over and over again. You're like, forget it. You know, we don't want to discuss it. At the most, we just share tips on styling. So. Okay, and tell us something about fashion. Like, what fashion means to you? Fashion means well, interesting. Um, what is crazy is for someone who's from the media business, I've never really wasted too much time on fashion, and I don't. I think I just wear what comes to me naturally and I feel that the more comfortable you are in your clothes mm -hmm. the better that it looks on you and then you could wear anything but if you feel that it looks fantastic on you it probably does mm -hmm. um I'm more of an ac accessory person mm -hmm. um I do pick up a lot of belts shoes mm -hmm. and jewelry because I feel that that's what makes your entire outfit interesting and I tend to like to, to mix and match clothes and you know just sort of try and vary it but um i'm not one of those fashion victims i'm not a fashion follower or a fashion pandit mm -hmm. you know i have no idea what's happening on ramp at any given point of time or someone comes and says also oh, what are the colors for the season and frankly i have no idea but uh, but i will wear what i like you know good cuts nice colors fresh colors so that's my fashion statement okay are you a brand freak or like you just pick up things randomly are sorry you brand freak am i uh, no just completely not interested in brands um As I said, I look for quality pieces. I'll find that one thing I like and I'll buy it or I'll find one pair of shoes that I like and I pick them up. And I love to mix and match things. So it's not like I'm brand crazy. Mm -hmm. Uh you know, who love sort of taking my labels around or like, mm -hmm. look I have so and so bag and I have so and so dress okay, on. Yeah. I frankly don't I care. No. <laughs> At least not yet. So Okay. Where do you shop from? I shop everywhere. Um when I'm traveling on work, if, whether it's India, abroad, um you know in other cities in bombay anywhere mm -hmm. um it just depends on when i have free time because mm -hmm. i'm not shopaholic i'm not one of those people who loves to shop i hate to shop in fact one day when i'm super 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 rich i'm going to hire myself a personal shopper okay. you know i mean you have people who come home and they look at what you need and they go out and buy it so i i need to do that some day mm -hmm. but i'm not I'm not crazy about shopping at all. You I mean, like oh my god, no, <laughs> no. It's just that uh, you know, I know I know people who love it. I'm not one of them, so. Then who do it for you? I do it for myself, uh -huh. but I have to find the time, which okay. is again cumbersome. So I usually shop as per my shoot requirements or as per my immediate requirements, but I'm not one of those people who will go and shop compulsively. But you shop for yourself or you shop for your sisters or family? Um if I'm traveling then I could shop for my sisters you know mm -hmm. just for sizes and you know particular things that we want. Mm -hmm. But in but in India I purely shop for myself. Mm -hmm. And they like be your choice and all? Of course I have great taste. <laughs> oh. <so. laughs> okay. Okay. Okay tell me like what comes to your mind when you think about uh, when you heard about like you know fa Indian fashion. Yeah. what 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 is that thing like you know that comes to your mind like what i think uh, fashion, what do you feel about it i think indian fashion has an upside and a downside the upside is that it's great because you can wear it in any season you know because it has a lot of embellishment it like has has a lot of work usually you know and it's very ethnic centered so it's quite fun you know for weddings and occasions and sarees sarees i think are fantastic fashion statements um and they are my preferred favorite formal clothes but on the downside i don't think it evolves as much you know i mean you'll see slight variations through different designers but by and large it's like the pretty mainstream kind of designs and clothes so that's the downside of indian fashion okay you said you love comfort but like you know fashion is not always comfortable sure so, yeah so what do you think about it like you know so um i feel that i would still maintain that i would not wear anything that is not comfortable because especially for me you know i go out to events i meet people and if i'm restless on what i'm wearing then you know i mean people tend to fidget yeah. and i'm one of those fidgeters you know if i'm not uh, 
comfortable I keep pulling up my pants or lowering my skirt or like fiddling with my top and it looks really bad yeah, yeah. so I just rather not I'm still maintaining the fact that you know if you enjoy uh, what you're wearing it will look fantastic on you so okay who's your favorite designer um in India uh, again I'm a big fan of good cuts so I would say you know Shah Abdurazi Pratap Savio John, yeah. Sabi Saji, these guys cut clothes really well mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's what I like about their clothes. What about Western? Western, these they these are Western, oh, as you mean abroad? Yeah, abroad. Abroad, um, I have no particular brand favorites. Um, again, for me, it just depends on the occasion and the event. I love wrap dresses. Mm -hmm. So if there's any uh, brand that stocks short dresses, I will go and pick them up because I find them very feminine and very sexy. So. Mm -hmm. There's no particular brand. What do you prefer at home? Like, yeah? like what kind of clothes? Um, like, usually it's casual clothes. Okay. Um, I'm a I'm a jeans person. So as long as my jeans are basic, I'll I keep changing what I'm wearing on top. Um, but pretty much of a jeans person or just linens or casual clothes. Because I think uh, weather in Bombay is too hot to be, you know, sort of overdressed and sitting at home. Yeah. But um, I also dress as per occasion. Like if I'm out for an event, it's a very heavy dressing, you know, I mean, you either wear like a really sort of formal top or you wear, mm -hmm. you know, a very sexy dress or you wear, you know, sort of something interesting or a short skirt and then you wear maybe heavier hair, you know, intricate jewelry and you kind of dress it up. Okay, what's your style mantra? My style mantra is, uh, is, is it's not the price tag, it's always about the comfort and the, and the way it looks on you. So that's my style mantra. Okay, tell us something about your fitness. Yeah, you look so young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, um, I'm not so hung up about my entire workout regimen either. I'm just naturally a very lean person. Mm -hmm. But because of Hindi films, I've had the opposite problem, which is I need to put on weight. Okay. So since modeling to now, I have put on 15 kilos. Oh, God. <laughs> no, really that's the, like that's the big secret. <laughs> So, uh, but, uh, but I had to, I had to because in uh, Hindi films, you can look too thin also. You know, people say, oh my God, they look so fat. People can look too thin also. So it's been a conscious effort to put on weight. Um, and I also do, um, I go to gym thrice a week okay. and I also dance. Okay. I go to Sykes okay. and I also uh, dance, uh, you know, pretty much every day. So the combination of that, I think kind of keeps me in shape. But I'm not one of those people who can starve. I can't starve to save my life. I feel hungry every two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So I have to just keep eating. Do you follow any, any kind of deep diet? Um, I'm vegetarian I do, um, and I don't eat cheese and eggs either. Okay. I'm just, I'm a strict uh, vegetarian, but um, I do um, sort of maintain some sort of order. Mm -hmm. I eat three meals in a day okay. um, and I follow a diet that's, that's, that's pretty similar to fit for life. Mm -hmm. You know, as an it's a more naturopathic diet, mm -hmm. so which is uh, great, great for me because I need more energy. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to be um, sort of on my toes all the time. So compared to the average person, I have to take that much more care of my diet. I love to eat a lot though, mm -hmm. and I do eat humongous quantities, and I love fried food. <laughs> but you get people. I mean, it's not. <laughs> It's funny, it's funny, it's funny. I mean, we're so far, I've been lucky. One fine day, it'll all explode, you know, and then I'll be like, oh my God, all the fried food I've had all my life is here. So, yeah. So, uh, there's no much, I mean, like, no, not so much of uh, exercises and uh, the thing you have. I mean, like, tell me something about, like, you know, you do exercises. So, weight, uh, what do you prefer, like, uh, weight or cardio? Um, I personally think that, you know, weights are also very, very important for your body. But they're also very um, sort of overrated, uh, you know, especially for uh, women. I feel that power yoga mm -hmm. or Pilates or something that strengthens your muscles is as good as going and doing weights. Okay. The other downside about doing weights is that if you don't do it right, you can actually, uh, you know, have counterproductive results or you could also end up uh, injuring yourself. But the plus side about doing weights is it builds muscle strength. And for women, it fights cellulite. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Tell tell me something about like you know what kind of like uh, any something uh, something uh, which is your favorite you have to avoid and like. Um. Well. That's I'm addicted 
in a very, very bad way to soft drinks. Okay. And I've been trying for a long time. So has my dentist. I mean, you know, we've been chatting about this and he's just amazed that I drink one or two colas a day. Mm -hmm. I'm just addicted to it. And I've been trying to get off it for a while. And um, it's something that I just cannot do without. I mean, I can't. I've, I've been trying. But if somebody out there knows what to do, please tell me what to do. Because <laughs> the, biggest, the biggest vice that I have. Tell me something about your breakfast, lunch, and what um, is it? Um, I eat uh, fruit and I drink a lot of juice mm -hmm. for lunch. Uh, I drink one raw juice. I have a salad and, and then I eat brown rice and any vegetables that I made. I love eating yogurt. Um, and, and at night, it's my sort of time off. I can go, I mean, either I go out to eat mm -hmm. or I order in or I'll have like some simple food at home also. But um, I think fairly, it's like a fairly clean diet. Um, there's nothing sort of uh, ultra complicated. But of course, every second, third day in the night, I'll feel like having, you know, French fries, a burger or something. And I don't, I don't stop myself. I just work that much harder in gym, so. <laughs> Next day. <laughs> Next day. <laughs> this is your favorite food. Actually, actually, it's a, it's a very sad thing because, um, because when I'm lifting, you know, and like, trying to do my squats and everything. I'm saying, you know, for the amount of stress that I'm putting in here, I, okay, I promise myself I will not eat this, I will not eat that. And, you know, I just go home and the whole thing changes. It doesn't <laughs> <You> matter. <are. laughs> That's good fun. Okay, uh, tell me something. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Um, I am so fond of eating. Uh, people have, all my friends cannot imagine how much I love to eat. I'm very, very fond of food. Um, anything. I love Japanese food. I love simple, you know, ghar ka khana, that uh, dal, chawal, sabzi, um, um, and uh, just anything. Fried food, uh, you know, chaat. I'll eat anything. Oh. I'm just crazy about anything. So. Okay. And tell me, like, which is your favorite restaurant here? Um, in Bombay, again, it just depends because there are so many kinds of restaurants. I mean, I'm one of those people who can eat anywhere. You know, I'm, I'm not fussy that I, I won't go here, but um, I have, uh, I would say, I like Swati snacks. I like uh, wasabi at the Taj for their Japanese food. Um, I would say, um, you know, food at Indigo, the fine dining, all the, all the restaurants at the Grand Hyatt. I mean, I'm just, I'm just really fond of all kinds. So there's such a vast variety to choose from restaurant wise. So. What do you do when you're not to shoot? When I'm not shooting, um, on Sundays, what? okay. When I'm not shooting, I have I have a lot of hobbies that I indulge in. I'm really fond of art, so I tend to go visit museums, go see galleries. Um, I'm also, um, I mean, I write. Uh, I enjoy cooking, and um, and I'm also like busy working on two, three different things. So it's just that I'm one of those people who needs to be busy all the time, and I'm very restless. Mm -hmm. So I do use my time very, very fruitfully when I'm not uh, shooting. And also, um, you know, when I'm not shooting, it's like a downtime. You know, I can just rest and relax, mm -hmm. you know, take care of my body and just sort of take it easy. But my favorite pastime is watching television. I, I can watch television for hours, okay. doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you believe in God? And like, are you a religious kind of person? No, I'm not. Um, I'm a very spiritual person. I'm not religious. Um, I do follow rituals and rites. Uh, I think it's more out of respect to my parents than to anything else. But um, I'm not particularly, uh, I'm not obsessed with religion. Um, I do believe that there is a higher power. Um, and I have a lot of faith in this higher power. And I have this belief that this higher power watches over me and takes care of me and helps me make all the right decisions. So that is how much faith I do have. I think faith is more important. So. Can you tell me, like, you know, uh, uh, who, which, any personality which inspires you a lot, like, you know? Sure. I mean, I, I'm, I always look up to really strong women um, because I feel that strong women role models are harder to come by. And for girls, I think especially, you know, girls in, in uh, India, I think it's really important to have strong female role models. And maybe I feel that as a country, we don't have enough of them. But I always look up to women, whether they're in politics, in 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 media, um, in any kind of business, but women from any field who can inspire me, you know, and I, um, if I find articles on them or if I find something on the net, I will read it up because I find those extremely inspiring to me. Um, and I think on a more sort of um, general level right now, my, 
I'm a big fan of uh, Muke uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, Reliance uh, Mukesh Ambani okay. um, because I feel that he has a vision which he's implementing at a super super rapid pace and I think it's fantastic you know to be able to 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 go to those heights and to be able to sort of um, you know uh, grow in the fashion that uh, he has. Uh, the other person who I do admire a lot is Richard Branson okay. also because I mean you know uh, people like him, people like Vijay Malia, I, you know I find them really inspiring mm -hmm. because um, you know they they make what they do seem very easy, uh, very sort of you know oh it's all just a piece of cake but they're really hard hard working men um, and I think that that's fantastic. That is for me an ultimate role model. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you one thing like you have started with uh, you started with uh, modeling yeah. right? and modeling to acting do you think was it a conscious decision to take like you know at the stage of your career um actually um to be very very frank um from modeling i shifted to vjing and then yeah. i vjed for around 2 years and then after that you know, I felt that I had become saturated within two years because there's only that much I felt I could do on TV as a as a video jockey. Mm -hmm. And then it was a, a most certain conscious decision, which is now from here, where next? Mm -hmm. And uh, film was something that just came my way. Mm -hmm. And very, very frankly, I have never courted cinema. You know, as in I've never sort of grown up thinking, mm -hmm. oh my God, I want to be an actress or I want to be doing Hindi cinema. Mm -hmm. But it offers kept coming. And I think finally I did say yes because um, the scope and the content of Hindi cinema has changed. Mm -hmm. You know, today we have completely different scripts. We have young directors, we have fresh talent, we have all kinds of cinema being made and we have an audience who, who is accepting this kind of cinema. Yeah. So suddenly the last two years being in, in uh, Hindi films has become or became an option mm -hmm. because suddenly we had or I had the kind of roles to choose from that I like to do. Before that, I would say that I, I did not visualize myself as being a part of this, this, uh, this uh, medium. Mm -hmm. Today, I feel that I can and I do fit into it because there's so much more on offer and I can see myself doing these kind of roles. Okay. So, so uh, acting you're enjoying mostly? I am. Now I am. I mean, I'd say that, that for me, to model now is something that seems far away, like a very, very sort of distant thing. Mm -hmm. I still do it. And I keep waiting for like really good offers to model also. Mm -hmm. But my focus is of course purely acting because I think acting now for me is very challenging. It's different, it's exciting. You know, you're working with co-stars, there's chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have to do dialogues. Uh, you know, I mean, you have to just play this character, make it so real that the audience walks away believing that you are this character. And there's such a kick in that. I don't think modeling could ever provide me with that. <laughs> 